Ardbeg was uh, officially founded in 1815. It has a bit of a chequered history, uh, lots of highs and some lows through that time. It was always renowned for making a really high quality whisky and it was exported across the world. Through the 20th century it sort of mirrored the, the Scotch whisky industry and probably the worst period for it being uh, the 1980s where it was mothballed for eight and a half years. Well in 1997 we were very lucky because the Glenmorangie company gave us loads of money and uh, we set about rebuilding this fantastic distillery. So that led to the development of what we called the PT path to maturity. And we started off with a six-year-old called Very Young, then we had Still Young, then we had Almost There, and then finally, when our own distillate reached 10 years old, it was We've Arrived. So many people were interested in what we were doing that we would form uh, the ultimate club, if you like, the Arbeg Committee. And we gave them a solemn mission to make sure the doors of Arbeg never close again. We have over 100,000 committee members across the world. Uh, at least once a week we get people um, asking us if they can work at the distillery for free. We even get people sending us in pictures of their Arbeg tattoos. It's absolutely amazing. Taiwan, USA, uh, Sweden, Germany, all over the world they're coming to the distillery and they share a wonderful connection with the place. Um, it's a real pilgrimage for people. People arrive and they can be in awe of the beauty of the place. It's something I just adore doing every day. I think the Arbeg of today is defined by two things. On the one hand, you have our unbelievably peaty yet perfectly balanced whiskey. And then on the other hand, you have our wild, untamed, bold personality. And the more confident and challenging our fans get, the more we get to push the boundaries of whiskey making. We wanted to make a whiskey like no one else had ever made before, something that would capture the essence of the raw, brutal beauty of the island itself. And it ended up becoming supernova. And you know, we weren't sure how our big aficionados would take to this, but happily they absolutely loved the sensation of the explosive peat in the mouth. Alligator was probably one of my favourite limited editions. It has a bit of bite about it. And there have been lots of other uh, really good limited editions. And the Arbeg Space Experiment, for example, you know, that was a heaven sent opportunity to try something that had never been done before, something totally crazy. You know, the opportunity to look at the impact of microgravity and the way in which spirit reacts with wood during maturation. And you know, it's something that's likely to never be tried again. Uh, big in the future. Um. There's definitely going to be robots, of course, right? <laughs> <laughs>